Hello friends, welcome to our channel Organized by Dorsey. Today I am sharing with you my prep pantry series, part five in the series to be exact. And I'd love to show you the items that I've purchased in the last week or so. These are non-food items, but essential for a prep pantry. Come with me, let me show you what I have so far. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dorsey and I do weekly organizational videos. I have, however, for the last six weeks or so, doing the series on Prepper Pantry, and I've done one through four already, which I'll have in the description box below, so you can watch those if you didn't get a chance to. And today we'll be doing part five, which is all non-food items. So let's get started with that right away. So in no particular order, these are some of the items that I picked up at either Costco, Walmart, the 99 cent store only, or through Amazon. So let's start right here at the steps. So I have a couple cases of toilet paper, paper towels, Clorox wipes, dishwashing liquid, dishwashing soap, lots of wipes, latex gloves, band-aids, cotton buds, cotton swabs, trash bags, toothpaste, lots of soaps, Vitamins, flu, um, NyQuil, Advil, Tylenol, lotions, um, lots of, I got at Costco the case of um, batteries. And one last thing that I got that I'm really happy that I got, this was from the 99 cent store. And these are all I got three, but I'll probably go back and get some more. They were, I think, $3.99. They're, they're just little, um, battery operated um, candles here. So those are really cute, I thought. So I'll go back and get some more. But these are just some of the things that I purchased. Of course, I got a lot of um, hand wipes and, um, things that I keep, can keep in my car as well. I also got a therm, two thermometers, one here that I just haven't opened yet and the other one I just opened yesterday. So we have those as well. And if you watched um, one of the videos I did just recently on the different um, candles that I purchased at Bath and Body Works, you'll see that I got about 20 and I picked up some more as well as the lighters. I have some extra lighters that I got at Walmart as well. So these are just some of the things that I purchased for um, my prepper pantry that I'm really, really excited with because what it means now is that I don't have to go out and try and buy anything within the next month or so, any of these items. I'll have enough, I think, to last me for another two or three months. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you'll take the time, of course, to subscribe um, to my channel. That is if you have not already done so. And if you have, I just want to say a special thanks to you. I am always so appreciative of your support. Uh, one other thing I need to mention real quickly is that um, this is by no means an example of what your prep pantry should look like. Um, you pick up things that you need, that you think you'll be um, using for the next month, two months, three months, or whatever you choose. One of my friends from YouTube, um, Denise Jordan from um, This and That with Denise Jordan, that's the name of her channel. She has done a really comprehensive um, list, give you a comprehensive list of all the things that you should be um, putting for your 
um, prep pantry that had suggested you hop over to her channel and see the things that um, she's purchased. And of course, we all will have different things. You will know exactly what you need at your, um, in your home. And of course, I'd also suggest that you watch, if you have not already done so, that is, watch some of the other videos that I um, did the, on the prep pantry. I have four already, this is number five, and I'm sure you'll pick up some I ideas. And I have picked up quite a few ideas from um, the, some of the others that I've watched. So we learn from each other. You guys take care, um, be blessed, and I look forward to seeing you, of course, next Friday in our next video. Goodbye, and of course, good luck.